Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Brooke. And this is Maker's Workshop. All right. Um, what are we talking about? All right, so right, right now, right now we're social distancing and the makerspace isn't open. So our dog's been coming to the shop, which she doesn't usually get to do, and it's come to our attention that she can't climb into your truck. Go ahead. You got it. Can you do it? Maple. You gotta try. <laughs> so today we are going to make her a step. Yeah, a dog step. <laughs> That's all there is to say. Let's go. I started by cutting down a large piece of plywood into sections that were the width I wanted for the final steps. I also ripped a board down into the width of the front steps of our house. Maple is older, but I know she can handle those steps just fine, so it seemed like the logical dimension to go with. I measured and cut one of the original plywood pieces into two smaller rectangles, the dimensions I wanted for the sides of the steps. So now we're going to take these two bigger panels and we're just going to make the shape of the stairs. I made sure the spot where the step would fit was the same as the width of the board I cut earlier for the stair pieces. Then we propped it together to decide on a length for each stair piece by eye. With the end cut from this already dimensioned piece, I ripped down four narrow rectangles for braces. And then I had all the pieces I needed to start assembling. The brace pieces went where the steps will be attached. I used a combination of screws and wood glue for strength. I used the same method to install the steps on top of each brace piece. Home to for the for going what do you think for finish like white inside. paint like a like a white on poly or something I just white on poly to call it a bad I think you might want to do like sand though I'll do like sand after sanding we ended up going with total boat halcyon finish in amber gloss This is thicker than a wipe on poly is, while still having a quick dry time. It can be recoated after only an hour, so we could quickly build up three coats for a nice, durable finished product. Because this is going outside, I 3D modeled and printed some small feet to slightly raise the stairs up off the ground in case of puddles and to also keep it more level on uneven pavement. Then, Maple helped me pick out some hardware to screw all four feet into place as the final step.
Alright, go ahead. Run up. Maple. <laughs> you gotta use the step. Go on. Seriously? Bring it. Bring it. Oh. Thanks for watching. I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of this one and I'm pretty sure that Maple loved it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click subscribe.